We've won our tomorrow. <laughs> that goes through as well, John Brother. Take four. <laughs> that's, it's all about that's tomorrow. A county final. First for the ball, no messing, no nonsense, direct pulling. But there's a camera here or whatever it is, that makes no difference to me, lads. Tomorrow, lads, with 15 men, doing a job for Drum Bradford. And for yourself, lads, that's what counts tomorrow, lads. Yourself comes first, club comes after that, lads, and the county title comes top tomorrow, lads, and the three of them will go together before the hour is over. Yeah, yeah, okay, lads. Come to you, lads. I know we're at the eve of the county final. Bill Milan has all the preparations done in this very, very wet day here at Drum Colourhead. And he's hoping of great expectations tomorrow, the 14th, the historic day. He's hoping for a county title, the first county title since 1963. No stone left unturned. And the conditions bad, but the spirit and heroism of Bill Moran evident as he puts the drum brought for team through their final paces. Well done, Jonas, that's it. Well done, my dear. Right, Jonathan, off us. The conditions are very wet this evening, but uh, I suppose we'll take the good of the day. We'll prefer to have the top of the round tomorrow, possibly, but sure. so will Bally Bricky, maybe. But uh, having that said, we've we fought well on bad days as well, and hopefully, we'll be able to do this up tomorrow. And the team are preparing with them, they have prepared everything done that have been, has been asked of them. They have big sacrifices made during the year. I think uh, we've trained hard under the guidance of Bill Milan, who's been an marvelous health talk club since he joined us two years ago. Uh, you know, I think Bill was mainly responsible for two West titles back to back. When, 92 and 93, something we've never achieved by the club either. And uh, under Vin's guidance, I think the boys will, can go on tomorrow if they play well enough on the day and win a county title. What do you think of tomorrow's game, Tom? Well, as you've said already yourself, depending on the boys themselves, if they play well in the day, I think we should nearly take it. Weather conditions, of course, might be slightly, a lot of people think that against them, but I've seen them playing in the West before, and uh, they're quite capable of taking them on, I think, anyway. Ali Brickman are a big, strong team, probably the conditions will suit them. But, uh, Hopefully, they put it together on the day and bring it home. That's what we're, that's what we're um, proud of here, and please God, it might come tomorrow. Right, now, down the floor, if you want. <laughs> Take the board, dude. I don't know. Take that up. Are we all right? Come on, Lynch! Eh? Play for season. Okay, then, Tunica, you go on first. How are you? Good thing. I'll high. Oh. Grab it. I'll shoot. Goal. Go! Back! Grab it! That's it. Next man, motivator. Go! I catch! <laughs> Goal. Go! That pass! That's it. Good shot. Bye, bye. Go! Go! I shoot! 
between Ballybroth and Drum Bradford. What should be a really interesting game. Drum Bradford have, haven't won the county title since 1963. That's a lapse of 30 years. They, unsuccessfully, they contested the county finals in 1988, 1990, and 1989. And they were unsuccessful. Ballybrick and known as Bohemore played Drum Bradford 61 years ago in 1932. They were successful on that occasion. Hopefully Drum Bradford will be successful today, but then in an hour from now we shall know the answer. So before the match we're looking here to have the Madigan connection and we'll say just a few words before them. Well, you're excited. We're very excited and we're hoping that the boys will win today. And the best to look to them. And was Seamus excited coming down? <laughs> very much so altogether. He was very quiet coming in the car himself and Pat Kiley and Milo. I want the word out of him. But they have trained very, very hard for the game. They have indeed. They put in great work now and hoping now that they'll win. So you'll be roaring all through? Oh, all through. All through. And hopefully a great night in Drumbrasford. Hopefully. Hopefully. Thank, thank you. Well, you're excited before the big game. I am indeed. I hope they'll bring it off with the help of God the will. They have a great chance. They've worked hard for us. They really deserve it after all the years. In the past, when it came to county final, they didn't play as good as they could. They never reached their potential, but hopefully today will be different. Please God, no, today will be different, yeah. They have, they have the hurling. All they have to do now is go out and play it, and hopefully that they will bring it off today. And the preview of today's game, yesterday they were training, they look very sharp and very fit in training, even though the conditions were deadly. That's right, yeah. They, all, they had to get together yesterday evening. They have trained very hard for it. And... Um, they can't do any more really at this stage, Johnny. Just go out and play it. That's so all. you're hoping for a drum Bradford victory? Oh, with the help of God, we'll bring it up now this evening. And you were very young the last time they won in 63. <laughs> oh, I was very young as right. I won't say how young I was. <laughs> OK, well done. Thank you. No, you must really be looking forward to today. We are, yeah, just to finish. Uh, we're hoping this we will achieve a county success after uh, the five minutes of the 80s. And we lost the football as well, the semi-final of the football, and uh, looking back in yesterday's after Castleman winning, we're, uh, it's probably uh, an, an incentive to go ahead and win today. Long time, since 1963. It is a long time. There was uh, a few ups and downs, I suppose, in the meantime. There was senior in 64, they went to the county final in 64, they were beaten by Capo Moore, and then they went back down junior again. And uh, 81, we thought we'd make a breakthrough, but we lost a uh, few here, the same venue. We hope it's not a... Uh, I repeat, and uh, since then we've been finding hard to make the breakthrough. And even watching them in training yesterday, they looked exceptionally fit and sharp. They are very fit. Uh, we have young players in the team, a uh, good show. Last year's my team, and even a uh, few more minors this year. And uh, they've, they have been training all year, been holding a football. We've been out every weekend, uh, sometimes two weekends that play games, and uh, they are very fit. So, Seamus, you'll put Trojan walking to the club this year? Well, we have a lot of uh, work for the top. The, the minors uh, had a good run. They went to county minor football final. They lost uh, Crow when they played off uh, for the semi-final place. The under-16s won the county under-16 football. 
uh, under 14s uh, were defeated in the county final. The under 21s lost to the county semi final. Uh, what else? Oh, the John Hollers went to the John Holland League final and lost to Capamore, uh, lost to Drummer at Lecker. So hopefully, uh, victory today. Hopefully, it was actually. Yeah. Okay. Well done, Seamus. Well, John, you're looking forward to today. Oh, looking forward for, we're looking forward now to this day in six years for you. We know I had looked out for a couple of years, but we hoped I'd do it today and to bring great excitement into the parish between Drum and Brafhampton. To boost, as we have uh, 20 pound tickets out now at the moment, and we hope today's win will, be, will boost that, that, the sale of them tickets. Park Ways has been top scorer during the year. Oh, yeah, Park Ways is a beautiful holder. He reminds me of Jimmy Barry Murphy. He really holds off the wrist. The sign of a great holder, and I tell you, he should be called up to the county team if his performance is any, anywhere fair today. And looking back in the past, great drum, Bradford players. Oh, some great drum, Bradford players down through the years. And they were defeated in 1932, and we hope they'll make up for that. They'll get a win today and make up for that loss. Where do you think the main strength of today's team lies? The main strength is uh, the Carroll's and Goals, probably, and uh, the forward lines of the, the Reed brothers and um, John Brother should shine today, we hope. He should. He have the holding here, everything. And it's just handed down from his father, Donny, who played with the American player with Munster. So hopefully, John, there'll be a nice celebration in Drum Bradford. Oh, we hope we'll bottom the place tonight. We hope for the little. Okay, thank you. Well done. With the colours like the Wexford of purple and gold, led by their captain Kevin Ryan, Kevin wearing the number seven jersey, and the Bally Bicken team playing a selected in goals Pat Wade, the full back line Jerry O'Neill, Kevin McCarthy, and Andrew Green, the half back line Anthony Teefy, Thomas Ryan, and Kevin Ryan, the captain, centre field Damian Brown and Tom Brown, the half forward line Lee McCarthy, Andrew Ryan, and John Crehan, and the full forward line Declan Brown, Damian Green, and Peter O'Neill, and then the drum Bradford, Aidan Collins, leading the drum Bradford into the team. Field, the goalkeeper Dennis O'Carroll, the full back line, Mike O'Connor, Seamus Madigan, Leo Collins, the half back line, Gerard Linehan, Pat Kiley, and Aidan Collins, the captain, middle of the field, John Steck and Michael Madigan, the half forward line, Liam Reedy, John Broderick, and Paul Quaid, the free taker, and the go main score, score getter and goal getter, Drum Bradford, then Thomas Reedy, Marty Stokes, and Duncan McCarthy. Yes, Drum Bradford hoping to make up since 1963, a lapse of 30 years, and their last play. Bohemore in 1932, and that was 61 years ago when Bohemore won that game. Drum Bradford hoping to be successful today as our trainer runs onto the field. The Drum Bradford substitutes Patrick McCarthy, Peter Merrigan, Kieran Ryan, Mike Barrett, John Collins, Seamus Hatton. Morris McCarthy and Seamus Collins and then the trainer Bill Milan, the selectors Tom Reedy, John Cregan, John Collins and the captain Aidan Collins. Everything set in motion for an exciting and enthralling county final. <laughs> Drum Colour playing from left to right as Din Carroll, the Drum Colour custodian, goes in with an array of hurlies to the goal mount on our left. Belly Bricken playing from right to left as the referee in the centre of the field, Tom Burke of the Piercy Club, throwing the ball for what should be an enthralling encounter. Will it be Paul Squade scoring power for Drum Colour? Or will it be John Crane as the ball is in the game away? Belly Bricken first to break away. Belly Bricken in the attack, pulling in the ball there. Is Aidan Collins the captain of the team? And still Belly Bricken, the strong of the two teams, the dangerous looking ball in, and the ball is going very, very near the goal mouth, the full forward Damon Ring going for it, Damon Ring and the corner forward Peter O'Neill, Peter O'Neill half locked down again, Peter O'Neill trying to get back, backs and forwards battling for it, as Drum Bradford backs trying to get out, Belly Brick and a chance here with an early score, we now see the Drum Bradford men, as there's a chance to go all cut in there by the midfielder, Damien Brown and gone out over the inline, line, and gone wide. First attack of the game by Belly Brick and Din Carroll, to take the puck out for Drum Bradford. 
This man who has brought from Bradford with a great uh, series of saves to county final, preparing to puck out this ball. Pocky out to the far off side of the field. Going up and trying to get it is John Brother. John Brother gets it and the brother with the blue helmet. Will he get the first goal from Bradford? Will he hit Brother's range? Clever pass again. Is that a goal on here? Oh, shot high and over the bar. Brother to Marty Stokes and Stokes high and Stokes good and Stokes over the bar. Number 14 listed as full forward, playing in the corner forward. And Donna McCarthy in the full forward line that day, according to their numbers. And Marty Stokes getting the pass from John Broderick and the strong Broderick. He was very disappointed when they lost the football final, the West Limerick final. He said in two and a half that day that he would win a county. Yeah, his words prophetic words as Belly Brick can come back and get through. And the Belly Brick man that tries to is Andrew Ryan. Andrew Ryan trying to find the big forward coming over from Gold Demon Ring. Demon Ring very near the sideline. He's going over the sideline. No, so the linesman as ring a dangerous ball across, trying to get out of drum. Bradford back and then get hit in is John Crane and Crane making an angle for himself but the ball is hooked where Crane tries to battle again a second time and then Crane gets it and Crane half hooked again from Bradford back to tackling Veron doesn't have forward Andrew Ryan chance here for Belly Brick and will Andrew Ryan get the equaliser as he is tackled again Andrew Ryan to the corner forward Peter Ronnie Peter Ronnie is hooked again great work by the drum Bradford defence as the ball is coming very very near the sideline and over the in line a line ball for Belly Brick and off who will take it Cut has gone all the way over the bar, has just gone wide, just gone over the inline and wide. Just one pint between the teams, two and a half minutes gone. There's Dennis Carroll, a great puck out by Dennis Carroll into the half hours. A lot to pin John Brother. Brother going up for it again, then being batted down from him this time. And going for there in the centre of the field is a man from Ballybrick. And, and the man is Damien Brown. Damien Brown runs on TV challenge. Brown trying, still trying to get out. Drum Bradford are playing very, very close hurling as the half back there. Kevin Ryan, the captain of the team, leading by example, is fouled. And it's a free for Ballybrick and will be taken by Damien Brown. Damien wearing the number eight. Belly breaking two wide so far. Drum Bradford, no score. As the referee Tom Buck from the Piercy Club keeps a vigilant eye, the ball being driven well in there in the corner. Fabric going for it there is Peter O'Neill, but he's being batted down there and going for it there is a centre back. Pat Kylie, Kylie, the butcher, driving it forward again and trying to find the half forwards and going for it there is Marty Stokes and Marty Stokes beaten for it this time and Belly Brick and settling down more the last few minutes and batting for it there in the far off side of the field. The drum Bradford half back. Pat Kylie in the middle of the action, but the ball is going into that a score here. Danger here. Because James Madigan, great one by Madigan, but the centre forward gets it. And Andrew Ryan is the first chance of a score runs into a series tackle. Then making an angle for himself, looking for the goal to the midfield. Tom Brown, Brown trying to make an angle being tackled. Then Brown working the ball in well and driving to the car. John Crane, John Crane gains as well. Is that a goal on here? It looks a goal. Is it a goal? No, oh, shot. Great save by on over the inline and wide. A great save. Was it a 65? Or did it go out over the inline and wide? It looked went over the inline and wide. Great work by the drum brought for defence. There's a tower of strength there. There's Tom Brown here, there and everywhere in the centre of the field for Belly Bricken. Dennis Carroll driving it out. Carroll having a very busy time so far. Drawing towards John Brother. Will Brother get it? Brother being tackled from behind, being fouled from behind. The experience of Brother. First opportunity for Paul Quaid to take his point. Paul, will he be told move back the ball? Had a Christian glass Sunday. Will he have a birthday this Sunday? High by Quaid. Good by Quaid and over the bar by Quaid. Mighty score by Quaid. Surely has county potential, very cool hurler, and getting a great point there from a free after a foul on John Kiley. Kiley or another foul on John Broderick. Broderick instrumental in the two scores for Drumbrod for so far. Passing the first one, making the second one, as the ball is driven out by Pat Ward. Pat being batted down again by John Broderick. John Broderick playing very, very well. And then going for it again the second time, and the ball through to his stick, and still gone about 20 yards of the ball. And then, now it's got by half, by... Liam Reedy, Liam Reedy across to John Broderick. John Broderick and he now will be mighty point by Broderick. Is he trying to know? the goalkeeper. Oh, the goalkeeper foul coming out. Says yes, says the referee. Driven out there by Andrew Green. Andrew Green drive it high into the centre. Not so long. The centre back going up for there. The centre back getting it there and then it's coming down. The man the man that's making a lot of things is Johnny Stack and Stack high and Stack just over the inline and wide. Oh, 
Stack wearing the number eight. Wade looking towards this side of the field. Will it come up towards Paul Quaid? As Pat Wade driving it out. Paul Quaid waiting for the breaking ball. As going up for it is Johnny Stack. Johnny Stack is being pulled down by Bally Brick and Bally Brick and Eager. Bally wanting to get his score to settle himself at the half hour. John Ken, Ken driving it into the Diamond Ring. Diamond Ring the full forward. Surely pulled be pulled shamed by Seamus Medigan. And there the cornerback gets it. And Mike Lawconner running into being fouled. And it's a free for Drum Bradford. Referee there. Having a word. Michael for a leg pull, he would possibly try in as the crowd are enjoying every moment of this game. And this is the 14th day, dangerous spot here, belly brick and pulling in again, the Diamond Ring just gone off a belly brick and sick and gone out of the inline and wide. Mike Locke on playing very, very well along with Leo Collins in the drum broth for defence. And it's that Din Carroll, will he drive it down towards Paul Quaid? A good ball by Din coming towards Paul Quaid. Paul going up for it, battling for it there with the half back in question. The half back in question is Anthony Teefy. Anthony Teefy getting that and come off, Ryan Ryan with the ball. And then Ryan Ryan is hooked and didn't drive it very near the player there. Johnny Stack, Johnny Stack, whip it in then. And to Paul Quaid, will we see the emergence of a hero? Quaid will drive it into the full forward line. Marty Stowe's going up for it there. And also going up for it there is Dear Mother McCarthy. Is that a goal? And here, yes! It's saved by the goalkeeper, pulled out there. Belly Brickens defence has gone out for a 65. A great save there by Pat Wade. That's great pulling in there by Dunica McCarthy and Marty Stokes and Tomas Reedy. And Drum Broad for settling down well, making the maximum use of the minimum of opportunities. Who will take the 65? Would it be? Johnny Stack, Johnny Stack in the centre of the field there, alongside the ref linesman and the referee Tom Bucker and the Pierce to keep a vigilant eye on the proceedings from the start. And this would be a great booster to Stack's confidence if he was to send it over the bar. It looks good from this angle. It's high and it's gone. Over the bar. <laughs> cool in over the tree. Fighter Sean De Stack. Drum Bradford really settling down well, having gotten the first three points. Three players in the Drum Bradford scoring. First of all, we start with Marty, then with Paul Quaid, and then John Steck. Wade, Belly Brick and Bedley wanting a goal to come back into the game. Going for there's Milo Madigan, Milo Madigan there, and Drank going to the half forward, the half forward, because it's Liam Reedy, Liam Reedy, we're going to try dangerous ball on here, it's pulled down there by the number four, the number four, Andrew Green, Andrew Green getting, but still trying to get it out further, and Belly Brick, another severe pressure there, as John Brother, the inter fault is and it's a free for Belly Brick. And The scoreboard reads three pints for Drum Bradford, no score for Belly Bricken. That centre back, Tomas Ryan. Tomas Ryan, a beautiful hurler, driving it forward to there, up the centre, trying to get his centre forward in question. Andrew Ryan, but it's well better down there. And Drum Bradford, and they attack again. Liam Reedy driving it forward again. Liam Reedy at the ball, Joe the walk, trying to get his card in the forward. Great work there by the card in the forward. The card in the forward there is Tomas Reedy. Tomas Reedy, the engine's ball across going for his Marty Stokes and Dunnick McCarthy. But Dunnick trying to keep it in play. Will he find Marty Stokes? And will we see an opportunist shot from Stokes? Will he get the point? Or will he fold? That says the referee. As Belly Rick can try to weather the storm. Dunnick McCarthy there in the middle of it. So is Marty Stokes to the full back. Drive it out, Kevin McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy driving high into the centre. They'll be got in the centre of the field by Michael Ma or by Tom Brown. Tom Brown driving it forward again, trying to find the half hour. The half hour is Lee McCarthy. Lee McCarthy, beautiful sick walk by McCarthy. A beautiful player, then beautiful cross. Oh, just gone past Andrew Ryan. Going for it there's the other half hour, John Clayton. Uh, going to Ryan again. Ryan, a beautiful player. Will he get the point? It looks good, it is going to solve the ball. The last vocal support for Belly Bricken. A beautiful moment between the three half hours between McCarthy, Crean, and Ryan, and Ryan with a golden touch in the over the bar. The referee checking his watch. A beautiful day, a perfect setting for hurling. 19. 32 of these last teams, two teams met together in the county final. Bohor Moore were successful that year as going up for it again and trying to get it and the, gradually taking control. Tomas Ryan, Tomas Ryan, what did forward trying to get the image ring? Ring going up for it there, but it's coming down to Seamus Madigan. Madigan has delivery not great. Ring pulling in, ring and Madigan in the tussle. There and the ball breaks between them. Will it come out to the halfbacks? And they're trying to get it up with Seamus Madigan. And there, Belly Brick and defence trying to get it in. There's still, still hotly pursued. And then John Crahan will try and get point number two. It's good, but it's gone for the left and gone wide.
A snapshot from John Crahan. Oh, from John Broad then going into Johnny Stack pulling it. But it's been whipped out. Maidon Madigan going for it. Maidon then whipping it back. And then he's been tackling. There, there is Liam McCarthy. Liam McCarthy deep in his own half of the field. And Liam McCarthy overstepping the ball. And an opportunity for Drum Broad for there to get another score. Liam McCarthy didn't like that decision. But the referee very, very much on the mark as an opportunity for Paul Quay to get his second point to the game. Paul won from a free already, unerringly sends him over the bar. He's the wrist worked by Jimmy Barry Murphy, and a beautiful striker, a beautiful hurler. Said he'd scored two three in the West Final. Let the prophecy, a dropping ball, will that be a goal out of this? Is he dropping the ball at the edge of the square, pulling it in, and it's coming out cause. Get here there again. Is the full forward Marty Stokes? Marty Stokes third ball front to John Brother. Will John Brother get the point making angle for himself? High by Brother and good by Brother and over the bar by John Brother. Great combination understanding by John Brother and Marty Stokes. Four points to one. In Milan, I'm sure. He said in the preview of training yesterday that he expected this team to be full of hat and commitment. So far, they've been exceptionally good. Pat Wade driving the ball, playing the swing a lot, going into the centre of the field. Johnny Stack waiting for it. Paul Quaid, magnificent. Three of the game by Quaid. Gone the typical Paul Quaid solo run, and he will even finish off with a flourish. Stumbles in it in, and then runs into heavy challenge by the number eight, Damien Brown. And Quaid again just ball forward into Marty Stokes. Marty, will he get the score? High by Stokes. And now just gone to the right and gone wide. Stokes back again at full forward. Spins a while switching with Tomas Reedy and Donica McCarthy. Bally Britain visibly shaken by the early start from Drum Bradford as Pat Wade tries to fall offside the field this week, this time. Drive it down there and going for a smile on Madigan, Betty down well as Milo, and then John Brood and Broderick Strong, and then being tackled heavily from behind by Thomas Ryan being fouled from behind, and it's a free for Drum Bradford. Who will take it? Will it be Paul Quaid again or will it be Johnny Stack looking for instructions from the sideline? Johnny Stack. The Drum Broadford contingent enjoying every moment of this as the far offside John Cregan and Bill Milan in close consultation. A good ball by Stack. It's gone high and it's just gone over left and wide. Will they rule these opportunities before the game is over? They're within striking distance. They started off very well. Little nervous in the last few minutes, but still a goal in front. Belly Bricken wanting badly that goal. The scores haven't come as quickly as Pat Wade. Will he try the side the field again this time? Yes, drive it very, very near the sideline. Going for it there and trying to get it. And you see that foul there, no, so they're afraid, up for this angle they might be, as the centre field man, Damien Brown, gone the solid run, my American dispossessed him, and Aidan Collins, Aidan Collins, leading by example, driving foul to Liam Reedy, <coughs> Liam Reedy, and Tomas Reedy battling for it again, the centre back, Tomas Ryan, get it, Tomas Ryan, Drum Bradford, very well at the tackling, Tomas Ryan being harried from behind, and then Tomas Ryan driving forward, Johnny Stack getting down, and Stack lifted up then, and then putting a pass into no man's land, as it's better down there, and the centre back, Tomas Ryan, Tomas Ryan driving forward again, trying to engineer a belly, and Score and then coming down to the centre back, Pat Kylie waiting for it. Will Pat Kylie get it? Pat Kylie get it, and Kylie, the long straining Kylie, tackled high and then highly low ball forward. But got there by the number eight, Damien Brown and the Brown. Cow, Colleen, and will Colleen fight again? No, says Dennis Carroll, and Carroll reading the game to perfection. They're enjoying John Brother. The, the hurling is fantastic. Brother going from the grass to Brother to the half back, Anthony Tiffy, and then to the other half back, Kevin Ryan. That playing was zero in belly rick in the last few minutes. As there, Damien Brown, Damien Brown being Harrison behind. Being harassed by Paul Quaid and Damien Brown driving very near the side. Going for it there is Aidan Collins batting for it there with John Crane and Aidan Collins trying to get it up. Collins get it up then and then driving it forward very, very near the side in his half hook and get it then is the corner foul, the corner foul, Peter O'Neill pushed out over the side. He must say fouled. No, says the referee, a lines ball. ball. <laughs> the standard exceptionally high. <laughs> As Aidan Collins with a red helmet leading by example. <laughs> oh, did, is the ball going Belly Brickens way? Or is that nudging off the ball around the full backs and full forwards? Yes, is the referee, he's going into the ward there. The anxiety of the occasion, will he have a ward with two or three of the players? Yes, by no means a dirty game, but little off the ball instant there that the referee noticed. And the team would ring there, and Seamus Madigan exchanging greetings. He'll have a word with the umpire, I'm sure.
crowd enjoying every moment seem to have swelled bigger since the game started. And they're really hoping that it will be a drum bar for success the first for 30 years as Liam really cut it well down the wing, trying to find the other man. And the other man in question is the man that's wearing number 13. The man wearing number 13 is Tomasi. Tomasi in trying to find Dunnika McCarthy. Will Dunnika McCarthy get the score? He goes to a heavy challenge. They know. Is, is he chopped down? Yes, says the referee. And another free for. John Bradford, as yes, Jonathan McCarthy will what help from the sideline. And guilt edged opportunity for Paul Quaid to get his second hot hot score of the game. Oh, sorry, his second score of the game. He's won from a free already. Marty Stokes got the other. John Broderick and Johnny Stack from the 65. Well, within Quaid's reach. Will he go for the goal or will he be happy to take his point? Bindi Leafy striking high and over the bar. And the scoreboard reads five points for Drum Broadford. That fifth point has yet to go. The scorekeeper having difficulty in getting down Ivra Kahar. Agus Kotick Shesus Ivra Kog. And Drum Broadford four points ahead. Belly a brick and one. Badly one to your goal to stay in this game. As Pat Wade looking for the far offside the field. Driving the ball into the far offside the field. Milo Madigan going for it. Milo Madigan first time holding by Madigan to John Brother. And Brother could a revelation at full forward. Driving in trying. Dangerous ball up here on the edge of the square. Trying to be kept in play. Beautifully kept in play. Is that a goal in here? As the snap shot there is that a goal? Just gone to the left and gone wide. Hit the side netting a snapshot by Dunica McCarthy. That's as well kept in play by Tomas Reedy. Vigilant corner forwards both. <laughs> Just after side netting. Pat Wade, varying his wings each time, will drive this ball to the side of the field. Going up for it and trying to get it is Johnny Stack. Johnny Stack batting it down and Johnny Stack and Green Paul Quaid battling with the number five. And the number five is Anthony Teefy. Teefy driving it very near the sideline. Going to have to stick a Teefy. Going out over the inline. Line ball for Drum Bradford. Aidan Collins, the captain of the team, leading by example, playing very, very well. Clever ball by Collins. Across to the number two and the number two in question, Mike Lock on the Mike Lock on the high. Drive it down again. As they get here, there's the half back. The half back in question is the number five. The number five in question, Anthony Teefy. Anthony Teefy driving the ball there and get him. John Clean, an accidental belt to the ball. I hope he isn't too injured as he got a belt there on the face. Watching attention from the sideline. crowd enjoying every minute of this game. The referee would possibly throw it in. As waiting well there is the captain, the man from Broadford side of the parish. Five it's very near the inline, gone out of his stick and gone over the sideline. Aidan Collins, who's won West Division medals, is under 14. Football 1982, Myler Hurling 85, 86, Jules Hurling 88, 92, 93. And his brother Leo is at Kaiser Connell back while brother Seamus is the substitute. Taken there by Anthony Teefy, great cut by Teefy to the loud belly brick and falling. Teefy, let look at that as they scored there. Good work there by the corner forward, Peter O'Neill. O'Neill trying to stay with the ball, but being well pulled on there. And Drum Broadford defence playing very, very well. As John Crean going for the ball away from goals, Crean hooked by Milo Madigan. And then uh, the Liam Reedy, Reedy and Madigan, back there supreme in the far off side. And the impetus of the attack goes from Belly Bricken again. That's been Mullan encouraging every movement from the drum Bradford side. He wanted an all out effort. They're responding inside. Huh? We saw him yesterday as Kevin Ryan, the captain of the Belly Bricken team, driving it forward again and then trying to get it is Milo Madigan and Milo Madigan gone through three tackles and then driving it forward again, trying to set up another attack and going for there is Kevin Ryan, the captain, Kevin Ryan leading by example, driving it forward again, not going too far as going for it there and trying to get it is the corner forward, the corner forward and quickly the cross then. And then Pat Kiley, sound is personified to Milo Madigan. Milo Madigan is shot half locked down, going to Liam Reedy. Belly Bricken has gone more tight in the last few minutes. Reedy driving forward again, trying to get his corner forward into action. Going for there's the corner, Dunna Kamikati, Dunna Kamikati, driving it over to Hamas Reedy. And Reedy, great pace of this man, will he round it up for the score, pulling across the to Marty Stokes as the ball has gone very, very near the inline. <laughs> His brother doing camera work here, and hopefully it will be. Is it a free? Hard to see from this angle as he's being attended to. Tomas 3D down injured for Drum Bradford. John Brother there looking on anxiously. 
Sean Brother who started with a flourish, not as much in the game the last few minutes, but then the wings are being played a lot. Brother, a tower of strength at centre forward for Drum Broadford. As the smoke from the rising houses can be seen through the camera, an opportunity for Paul Quaid to get his turn in close consultation. And in brief abbreviation, Paul Quaid should slot this one over the bar. Bending, lifting, striking, looks easy, it is easy, and it's very easy by Paul Quaid, but just gone to the left and gone wide, says the umpire. It looked from this angle as was a pint, but the umpire is closer to the action than we are. Quaid looking at the side of the field. Will it come out towards Liam McCarthy again? The sun shining. That last one is ball dropping very, very near us. Going for it there. It's Paul Quaid. Paul Quaid battling down then. Trying to get it out then. Very near the sideline. Battling from there. Who's off the ball by the number 12? Number 12 shot blocked down by great block down there by Aidan Collins. Great block down from John Cree and Aidan Collins playing with great diligence. And you could see that the underage hurling led by this man is paying rich dividends as he let the hurling do the work then. Aidan Collins himself, a very sporting game so far. Aidan cutting this one, trying to find his corner forward in question. And the corner forward just taking his eye off the back. Ball for the moment. As the belly breaking corner back to the man in question. Is Andrew Green and Andrew Green coming forward and driving forward, turning defence into attack. And they're trying to get it there is the corner back. And the corner back is Mike Lowe Connor. Oh, Connor, delightful Holly, trying to find his midfield man there. But the block down there by John Crehan. And Crehan going forward again. Will Crehan round it up for the score? Or will he pass it over? He passed over. There's a chance here for Belly breaking. Will they get the goal? That's in forward. Andrew Ryan, Andrew Ryan, is he fouled? Yeah. This is the referee. The big figure of Pat Kiley. Danger there as Belly Bricken were coming through in the presence of Ryan and Crehan. Will Ryan get his second score of the game? Belly Bricken one point and he looks easy from this angle. Will it be easy? He did high and over the bar. Oh, bottom of support that Belly Bricken have here. This village that has won many honours down through the years, hoping for victory today, since that they can be victorious. Drum Broadford likewise. Belly Bricken have gained the impetus in the last few minutes as Dan Carroll would he play down towards the centre, looking for John Kyle again or Liam Reedy, coming down towards Liam Reedy. Liam Reedy going for it. Liam Reedy difficulty in getting up. Tackle from behind there. And also pulling in it there is the cornerback. The cornerback number two is Jory O'Neill. Switches the game up. Jory O'Neill driving forward again. Pulled in there down and going off the stick. Of Jared Linehan gone out over the sideline. Is it a linesman's ball? Had to see from this angle. As the haze of smoke which was there the last few minutes has gone a beautiful day. Belly Brick and the attack but the ball gone out over the sideline and a line ball for Drum Broadford. <laughs> Yesterday, torrential showers, a downpour. Today, such a change in the climate in Ireland. You'd swear it was the middle of summer, and it's a historic setting here in Brough, in County Limerick, for the county title. Milo Madigan, a good one by Milo, driving it forward, trying to get his full forwards into it. Paul Quaid going for it, the Nippy Quaid battling for it, and then this time dispossessed by Anthony Teefy. Teefy then pulling, good, pulling by Teefy, driving it forward again, going for it. There's Aidan Collins, Aidan Leo reading the game. <coughs> to perfection, then drive it forward, trying to find Johnny Stack. Johnny Stack going for it the first time, dispossessed again, pulling the second time. Great hat to play by Stack, trying to find Milo Madigan, but Belly Bricken on the attack, and the Belly Bricken attack still further in motion. As Mike Law Connor pulling it there now, pulling it there to. Aidan Collins with a snapshot there by the corner forward, Declan Brown, Declan Brown, dangerous ball, is there a score on here, is the ball back here on between full forward and full back, will the referee throw it in and will they be free? Yes, dear, but ring and Seamus Madigan battling there, one doesn't want to concede a score and Dennis Cattle also, the other one wants to get a score, what will the referee do, will he throw it in or will he, will they be free in, throwing it in I would say from this angle, the impartial official from the Pearson Club in Limerick, Tom Burke, will throw it in, can Drum Broadford weather the storm before half time, they're pulling in the ball, get here there is, Aidan Collins, the captain, leading by example, then using the wing, trying to find Paul Quaid. Paul Quaid there, pulling there with the halfback, Anthony Keefe, and then pulled on there further by John Broderick. And Broderick there, mighty stop by Broderick, trying to get it out, then being dispossessed there. Belly Bricken halfback, Tomas Ryan to Keefe. Keefe wins the claim, and the Belly Bricken follows. Right there, Belly Bricken setting much better last few minutes, and there, driven by the John Crehan. Crehan trying to find the corner forward, Peter O'Neill. Will O'Neill get the score? O'Neill being harried from behind. O'Neill, a low ball, dangerous forward, trying to find the other corner forward. Declan Brown, Declan Brown, trying to get it, then being harried from behind. Ball across again, Spars down over the inline and wide. The drum brought for full back of Michael O'Connor and Leo Collins exerting great pressure there, sticking to their tasks manfully as Belly can find it difficult to get scores. And the drum brought for the drum brought for coverage and they're enjoying every moment of it. 
as Jane Cattle driving it down again to the centre. Liam Reedy pulling it. Liam Reedy trying to find Paul Quaid. Will Quaid get this one? Clever work by Quaid. Oh, she's been up high and it's gone just inches wide. Neatie, Fee and Paul Quaid having a great battle since the game began and the scoreboard reads five points for Drum Bradford scored by John Stack John Broderick, two by Paul Quaid and one by Marty Stokes and the two points for Valley Brick and scored by Andrew Ryan, the centre forward The custodian who hasn't put a foot wrong since the start of the game. Not a great puck out this time by Pat. Will it come out to Liam Reedy? No, Liam Reedy pulling it in. And so also is John Broderick pulling it in. Michael Maddowing and Will pulled up there by Gerald Lane. Gerald Lane, Paul Quaid battling for it. The ball breaking there. The bouncy ball. Belly breaking defence. Very, very alert. And battling for it there is the corner forward. The corner forward in question is Tomas Reedy. And also Dunnock and McCarthy. Dunnock and McCarthy trying to get out. And himself, Tomas Reedy is the ball very, very near the sideline. Ball being pulled up there. Johnny Stack, lovely holding by Stack. Trying to find him in the cross. And it's just the last moment. It's pulled down there as a heavy tackle by John Brothers in the back. Tomas Ryan, Tomas Ryan driving forward again, trying to find the Emmett ring. But the ball being pushed out there by Leo Collins. Leo Collins badly for it there. And the ball is coming out. And so also is the captain, Aidan Collins. Leo Collins, Aidan Collins with the other man, Declan Brown. Declan Brown got about 20 yards of the ball. But he's coming down for the score runs. And to heavy challenge was he found. No, so the referee at the drum brought for attack. Whether the star is Seamus Madigan. Oh, Madigan, beautiful stick by Madigan. As Bally Bricken coming forward again. Bally Bricken midfield very, very strong. This into forward. Andrew Ryan off a strong. He found it after the base score. Beautiful score from Andrew Ryan. Number 11, the long striding Andrew Ryan. His third point of the game. Just two points between the teams, as I said. Bally Bricken coming more into the game the last few minutes. As Din Nassau Cattle drive it out. My Leon Madigan going up for it and the ball is breaking down and trying to get it in as the centre back Tomas Ryan exacting in. Major influence on this game showing he's a footballer as well as a hurler trying to find the midfielder Damien Brown. Brown pulling it along with M Michael Madigan but the ball has gone out at John Stack. The ball has gone out oh, very very near the sideline as Declan Brown appears to be down injured. <laughs> and orange of drum brought for the black and amber like the Kilkenny colours the go, um, gold and purple of Valley Bricken like the Wexford colours very much like a Linster final between the Cats and the Wexford Slaney siders but it's not a Linster final as Rosoma his place and the rapturous round of applause is Damien Brown Milo Madigan waiting to take the line ball Milo took the last one very well will he take this one equally well as Milo bending, lifting, cut it very, very well, trying to find Paul Quaid. Paul Quaid going for there. Tomas Ryan, beautiful stick by Ryan. John Brother, great start, but not as much in the game last few minutes. Ryan with the ball looking behind him then and driving it forward, trying to get his corner forward in question. And the corner forward in question is the number 15. And the number 15 is Peter O'Neill. Peter O'Neill throwing ball forward. Is that a goal in here? No, to so the corner back and the corner back. Leo Collins, Leo Collins driving out then, trying to find. Mike O'Connor and Mike O'Connor hasn't put a foot wrong all day. Shot block half down while swing there, but the ball has been kept in play. And going for there is O'Connor second time. O'Connor fouled. It's a free for Drum Broadford. <laughs> Good ball forward by Michael O'Connor driving forward, ball dropping around, straight being pulled in there by the number nine, Tom Brown. Tom Brown driving forward again, trying to find his half hours in question. And going for there is Jared Linhan. Jared Linhan to get the back with Milo Madigan. Linhan pulling it in and driving it forward again. But then the half back line of Belly Brick never can take control the last few minutes. It's driven out there by Anthony Taffy. Anthony Taffy, Belly Brick and looks getting better as the game progressing. Tom Brown pulling it there again. And then there and they attack with the Drum Bradford. And then he lean inch as Drum Bradford then driving forward again. And then Jared Linhan. Jared Linhan shot half back on Milo. Now Madigan, Matt, a good ball forward, drop around the edge of this girl, Marty Stokes, get the goal, as the ball is dropping around there, the car is going to have a shot for Donna Kemikati, Donna Kemikati is across to Tomas Reedy, Tomas Reedy, Bobby around the square, it's gone out, so they're appealing for a 65, it appeared to be a 65, yes, says the umpire to all right. Donna Kemikati and Tomas Reedy.
Tomás Reedy with the red helmet, Matthew with the white helmet and Dunica with no helmet as the trim on the edge of the square. Another opportunity for John Stack to get his second point of the game from a 65. Drum brought for Bedley wanting a score because with the last six or seven minutes, Belly Bricken have been on the attack. Johnny Stack, the ever reliable Stack, drive it high, it looks good from this angle, and has gone left, gone to the left and gone wide. As I said at the outset, could these scores be proved to be costly for Drum Bradford before the game is over? As Bally Bricken, very, very near the half-time whistle, as Pat Way drives it out to the referee, and the referee, Tom Burke, collecting the ball, and the first half is over. Drum Bradford taking the initiative in the start. Bally Bricken coming back to the end, and then we should see a cracking second half. The scoreboard to our right reads five points to Drum Bradford, three for Bally Bricken, as Ben Milan to our left, ordering his men there to come off and looking eager and anxious for the fray, hoping to have a great pep talk with the men from Drum Bradford and hoping for a great second half. <laughs> Team coming out, dressing room, Belly Bricken team stayed in the field. And we see the Belly Bricken G Club officers, Nicholas Strain, the Life President, the President's Father Lee McNamara, Mike Weeks, Brendan Crane and all the, the Chairman Tom Brown, Ned Ryan, Andrew Green, Eamon Ryan, Victor Finucan and the Assistant Treasurer John Donovan, the Chairman of the Juvenile Club, Sean Frawley and the Secretary Connie Ryan, hoping for a great second half from Belly Bricken. Waiting for the second half to start and assist in Laugh and Bradford as well. The ball is in the game's on. She's looking very well after the married life. As in this uh, switch in the by the Bricken team for the second half. The centre forward is centre field, Andrew Ryan, the goal scorer, that lacked opinion Ryan. Will he be the solitary scorer for Barry Bricken? He was the only score goal scorer in the first half as Damien Brown was injured, feeling the effects of the injury, and the second half resumes with Dayden Collins, the captain of the Drum Bradford team, taking a line ball. Drum Bradford missing easy chances in the end of the first half. Will they rule those misses or will they come back with vengeance in the second half? Aidan Collins playing the ball down the wing, trying to get the corner forward and the man with the red helmet, Tomas Reading pulling with it. And then the centre, the centre back, uh, the centre forward move to midfield, Andrew Ryan sweeping it and going out over the in line. The second line ball of the second half. To be taken by Aidan Collins. Again, there a little bit off the ball nudging as Aidan will drive this one possibly into the centre. Aidan bending, lifting, striking, driving it forward, trying to find Marty Stokes. Marty Stokes get it. Marty Stokes foul. Good work by Stokes. Is there a switch in the drum rod for team? Yes, there is. Marty Stokes is centre forward. John Brother is full forward. <laughs> An opportunity for Paul Quaid. Lost a little of his confidence in the first half. Will this pint resume his confidence? A good ball by Quaid. High ball looks good. Just gone to the left and gone wide. Inches wide. The sun into his eye. Deceiving Paul a little. John Stack and Tom Brown waiting for this. Will it be the number nine for Belly Bricken? As the custodian driving out, Pat Way driving to the far side of the field, trying to find Andrew Ryan. Ryan going up for it, but he's better down by Milo Madigan, the small man and the big man. Milo to Paul Quaid, better work by Quaid. Snap, quick work. John Brother, will he be better in the full forward position? Back in there with the full back, Kevin McCarthy. Brother shouldering, using his strength, and then Brother dodging the tackle, and a clever ball across the field. Is that a goal on here? As going for it, that is to, to Liam Reedy, Liam Reedy, dangerous ball, pull it again, and the ball is coming in, and the Belly Bricken defence, whether the star him, as getting there is the back, Tomas Ryan, Tomas Ryan getting his way to safety, trying to find the man who moved to midfield, but there getting his Paul Quaid, Paul Quaid carrying the ball, gone about 20 yards, gone away from Andrew Ryan, still being through, driving forward again and under severe pressure, trying to find the corner forward, the corner forward, Tomas Reedy going to over the inline, gone wide. Lee McCarthy and Gerard Lennon having a great battle. Lee McCarthy putting his hand up the signal for this one. Will the custodian Pat Wade get the sign as he's driving down between the two of them? Dro dro ball dropping between the two of them. Who will get it as the ball there at the centre of the field? Going to Gerard Lennon. Lennon reading the ball the better two. Lennon pulling the ball then trying to get second in the attack in motion. As battling for there is Liam Reedy. The ball come very, very near the sideline. Gun looking over the sideline. Oh, beautiful work there by the number 10. The number 10 in question is Lee McCarthy. Beautiful sequel trying to find Damon Ring. Is that a score on from Ring? As the ball is battling around the square. It's Danger here for Drum Bradford, the ball being tried to get it out and then pull it out there is Leo Collins. Leo Collins still being into the tackle and Leo Collins get it and then Leo Collins making an angle for himself. Hooked again as Belly Bricken on the attack and Belly Bricken trying to get it up and trying to make an angle for themselves. The ball's gone off for Drum Bradford, sticking line ball for Belly Bricken. 
From an acute angle, will it be Lee McCarthy to take it? And will the man who set up the movement, Declan Ryan, go into his position? Lee McCarthy played great holly for Belly breaking down through the years. Cut in the spot, cut it very, very well at the end as well. Is there a goal here? Dylan Rick pulling it. Snap shot in his cattle being called upon. It's gone out over the inline and gone wide. Cattle coming in on into heavy tackle there, limping a little. Will he be looking for attention? <laughs> Brown and Johnny Stack in the centre of the field as Dennis Carroll drive it out. Drive it between Brown and Stack again, but trying to batter down as Lee McCarthy and Lee McCarthy going after again. Being chased by player and coming to this Johnny Stack. Oh, Johnny Stack player being tackled high and it will be free for Drum Bradford. Yeah. The free there, Tom Burke. Have you a word with Lee McCarthy? Stack looking for attention, attention from the sideline. Has been Milan is coming in. Worried about this man because he was asked to perform a Trojan work at the middle of the field. A little days after that incident. Stack resumes his position in the centre of the field. As Gerard Linehan prepares to take this one, Stack visib visibly shaking after the tackle. Gerard Linehan driving forward, trying to set up a score as Marty Stokes going for it. Will Marty Stokes get it? Paul Quaid, Paul Quaid back in there. And then is there a foul on? Yes, is the referee and it's a free for Drum Broadford. Paul Quaid and Marty Stokes, a good understanding between the two of them. As Anthony Keefe resumes his position there, going back towards the goal mode. This is, we said it before, but we better not say it anymore. As Paul Quaid, a little nervous today, normally this, he would slot this one over the bar, and this would be a great boost to his confidence. Paul bending, lifting, striking, indeed high, and indeed good, and indeed over the bar. The first score of the second half for Drum Broadford, and the score increases their score to six points to three years. The Drum Broadford large continuing, giving their vocal support to the Drum Broadford team. Pat Wade. Getting ready to puck out this ball as Quaid is in kick, Quaid is telling for three. Ball dropping down again, battling for it there is the captain of the team, Aidan Collins, down to Milo Madigan. Oh, Milo Madigan, and about five steps with it then and drive it forward again, trying to find Paul Quaid, just gone a little over the in line. Line ball for Belly Bricken. Anthony Teefy, Teefy cutting a low ball, trying to get his into forwards. Aidan Collins just going there for a get, and Johnny Stack, Johnny Stack showing no ill effects of the injury, trying to find his corner forwards. And going for there is Tomas Reedy, Tomas Reedy battling for it there, but the belly breaking cornerbacks rock solid, and also battling there is John Brother. But the, is there a foul? Is there a free? Yes, overcarrying the ball, very, very strict in overcarrying the ball, and this is at an awkward angle. Will Paul Quaid try to throw this one over the bar, or will he lob it across the goal mount? Bin Milan running down, giving him instructions from the sideline. The man who played great hurling with Khalidi was noted for his epic duel with Joe McKinnon in the county final. Quaid bending, this would be a great point for be a Paul Quaid special. It's high, it's dropping at the edge of the square, and it's dropping wide. Is there a substitute warning me up on the far offside of the field? It looks from this angle as if it's a belly brick and substitute, but we'll know more about that later. As Pat Wade looking at the side of the field, will he go drive it towards the Amy Catty again? Will he drive it to the centre field man? Tom Brown. Tom Brown going back for it. Tom Brown going beautiful work there by the old Tom Thomas Ryan. Thomas Ryan gone about five. Yards of the ball, but Paul Quaid pulling it, good work by Quaid, but then it goes down to the halfback, Anthony Teefy, Anthony Teefy driving forward there and trying to set up an attack and watch the great chance for Belly Bricken out to get a score. And they're calling the foul, Peter O'Neill going through, but last minute drop in, then the star with Pat Kiley, Kiley trying to find Milo Madigan, Milo going through the first time, getting it the second time, and then Milo working, surely he loves the county title, this man, beautiful work by Milo, and then he's dispossessed by the other 11, Andrew Ryan, Andrew Ryan, after the stick of Ryan, the big man, the smaller, and Ryan gets the battle as the ball has gone off the stick of Milo Madigan. Again in the free for Belly Bricken. Milo injured on that tackle. And 
Joe Ryan, the only man that has scored for Belly Brick, and they haven't yet scored in the second half. Started at centre forward, number 11 on his back. Now it's centre field, as Milo is being attended to for offside the field. But knowing Milo's resilience, he won't be long before he's back in the fray. Still substitute Warmy up in the far off side. Is it Lee McCarthy that's on the team? Lee McCarthy replacing Gerard Linehan. Lee McCarthy in, Gerard Linehan out. Or Pat, Pat McCarthy. Pat, sorry, we got his name mixed up there. Pat who played great hurling down through the year for Drum Bradford, now in the half back position. The other number five, Anthony Teefee. Will he let drive this one over the bar? Dropping, 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 dropping. Looks very, very good for this angle. Being batted out again. Still does danger on here. But coming to the rescue as the ball is coming across. Then is that a score on here? Dean Cattle will be ever vigilant to the goal. And then quickly out there. A snapshot from John Crahan. And Lee McCarthy follows it there, being pursued by his namesake, Pat McCarthy. And Pat McCarthy and the two McCarthy's heavy battle rail. Great save by Dean Cattle. Then the man who has saved Drum on many occasions, Drum Bradford, Lee McCarthy, cut the last ball very well, cutting this one at it as well with Pat McCarthy, getting his first taste of the action, number 18 in his back, driving out uh, very, very near, near the inline, still trying to be kept in play by the number 12 and the number 12 in question, to keep it very well in play, but just gone out over the inline. Great effort there by Liam Reedy, but Liam going off the stick of Liam Reedy as Belly Bricken exit the pressure. Thanks to take it there, Jory O'Neill. Jory O'Neill stacked in the corner back now, the half back position. Jory O'Neill with the red helmet, preparing to cut this ball. Mullay is the sponsor for the Belly Bricken team. Is that a Belly Bricken substitute? Yes, there's a Belly Bricken substitute as well. The number 16, Nicky Green, Nicky Green coming on corner forward in place of the number 12, John Trehan, with the ball. Bobbly around again, and there Belly Bricken, Lee McCarthy, it's a chance for McCarthy to get the first score of the game. A dangerous ball forward again, just got inches wide. Damon Ring thinking that would go into the goal mode, but from the very outset, Dean Cattle kept his eyes on it, it just went over the inline and went. A very important point in the game, who will get the next score? Belly Bricken haven't scored since half-time, Drum Broadford have only scored one point to low score in county final. As Beachner Motors Limited, the main Citroen dealer, sponsored the scoreboard, Vin Carroll driving the ball to far outside the field and trying to set up another attack in motion as the ball drop here on the centre and then Pally Bricken in the star with Andrew Ryan driving it forward again Ryan a dangerous ball trying to get his forward to motion Damon Ring coming out for it Ring being batted down by Seamus Manigan Pat McCarthy better here then Pat McCarthy doing class and then Seamus Manigan get it is it the cornerback, Leo Collins, battling between them? And that's trying to get it out in and pulling it there is the captain. The captain is Aidan Collins. Aidan Collins getting it up then forward again to the other. <coughs> driving it forward again. There's a chance here for Bally Bicken. Is there's since Andrew Ryan driving it forward. A great ball by Ryan. Will it go all the way over the bar? Dropping around the edge. See the goal on here. We're seeing the edge of the square. Yes, on the square, inside the square. Demon Ring just to be inside the small square. It looked... Very, very dubious from this angle. Demon appealing that he was outside the small square, injured in the process, appealing from help from the sideline. was substituted, we made a mistake, we thought it was John Crane, but John Crane is at centre forward as Dean Carroll taking the free and driving out into the centre, Johnny Stack pulling along with Tom Brown, <laughs> Brown is at his Pat McCarthy going for him, and McCarthy getting up, but he's first taste of the reaction, McCarthy go to McCarthy trying to find Marty Stokes, Marty Stokes reading the game to the team, pulling it, and then Paul Quaid, Paul Quaid difficulty in getting out, then pulling in the ground, and Quaid getting forward again, and trying to find the man with the red helmet, the man with the red helmet, this Tomas Reedy, really trying... <laughs> 
And strokes between them, but then the centre back get it going for then is John Brudel pulling stalemate there as Barry Bacon trying to get out. Quaid pulling it again, great man to pull first time. Is there a score on here? John Brudel in the half hour there, Liam Reedy getting it up, but going into heavy tackle again as Barry down again towards John Brudel and going for it again is Liam Reedy. And Liam Reedy will hit finish it off with the score, making an angle for himself, trying to shot at the dangerous ball. Is there a goal on here? No, said the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper, dangerous ball out then, but Drum Bradford on the attack, a quick pass there as battling for it there is Anthony Keefe trying to get out there. And the Drum Bradford trying, Powers trying to get in the battle rail is on. They're appealing for a 65, but the ball has gone out of the inline and gone wide. <laughs> Marty Stokes getting no hardly from the sideline. Wade looking towards Tom Brown. Will he drive the ball towards Tom Brown? High, drive it high into the centre. Going up for there is Andrew Ryan. Andrew Ryan battling for it. Andrew Ryan trying to pull it. Pulling it now this time. Runs into heavy tackle there and trying to get it out. So it's John Cree and John Cree and shot half back down again. Getting a second time and going for it there is Pat Kiley. Pat Kiley battling for it. The ball very, very near the in line. Kiley still in the middle of the battle. That's trying to get it up then and pulling it and it's out over the in line. Off the stick of Pat Kiley. <laughs> A low-scoring county final. Two substitutes introduced: Nicky Green for Ballybrick and Pat McCarthy for Drum Bradford. The Ballybrick in the attack move forward. Tom Brown preparing to take it. Tom not cut it so well, trying to find the centre. Andrew Ryan, Andrew Ryan getting up, but he gets his fourth score of the game. A good ball by Ryan looks good from this angle. Is it high and it's good and says over the bar. His first score of the second half, the only scorer for Ballybrickan, Andrew Ryan, midfielder, with consummate ease indeed over the bar. We said it before, could the game into the draw, a delicate balance at the moment, Drum brought for two points ahead as Dennis Carroll preparing to take this puck out. Dennis Carroll driving into the centre, going up for it again is Tom Brown, Brown Betty down and trying Pat Kiley, Kiley not hit so well this time and being marshalled there by John Crane, the man who sent the foul, Crane a clever ball, trying to find Liam McCarthy, but there and trying to get it up there and Drum brought for defence under severe pressure at the moment as it's coming out there to the man in the middle of the field, the man in the middle of the field is Tom Brown, Tom Brown battling for it. Or is it Damien Brown, Damien Brown, a clever ball across trying to find Liam McCarthy, but the drum brought for defence, stealing nothing, and Pat Kiley in the middle of it, and pulling it in is Johnny Stack, but again, Valley Brick on the attack, what he's physically tired, as Tom Brown making an angle for himself, a dangerous ball by Brown, will he be whipped across for the goals? Gone over the inline and gone wide. The crowd enjoying every moment of this. But looking forward to this game, there are switches all around the place. John Brother again in the half hour line, being pursued there by Jerry O'Neill. He started off at centre forward, then moved to full forward. Then the half hour is it who's gone into the full forward position? Is it Liam Reedy? There's Dennis Carroll driving it out, dropping in the centre of the field, while Johnny Stack pulling it, and so also is John Brother. Brother coming to the game again. The break did him good in the full forward position with a blue helmet. Clever ball by Brother then, trying to find them, his teammate and the teammate in support, and pulling it there is Marty Stokes. Marty Stokes trying to find Paul Quaid, Paul Quaid, and Anthony TV battling. Quaid battling. Quaid getting that one. Clever work by Quaid, making an angle for himself. Then still holding the ball. Great work by Quaid. Will he round up with a flourish as he's tackled there by Andrew Green. The ball very Quaid in possession again, and Quaid driving a clever ball. Is a pint really great high end dropping over the inline and gone wide. <laughs> Pat McCarthy and Lee McCarthy, they'll know each other well before the game is over. <laughs> Two pints between the teams, six pints for Drum Bradford. A low scoring second half, they've only scored a pint each. Paul Quay, the score for Drum Bradford, and Andrew Ryan, the only score for. Belly Bricken, as Belly Bricken look at the moment, they appear to be in top gear. Drum Bradford over their gear. Will they come back and will they win? Heavy challenge there on Damien Brown. Damien injured in the first half, but Damien resumes his place. Will it be a chance for Andrew Ryan to get his fifth point as the hush from the Belly Bricken support? They're clawing their way gradually into the game. Will they claw it with a vengeance as Damien ring a good bit outside the square? Will he get the point? Normally, a never pleasant test for Andrew. Andrew drive it high, and this has gone over the inline and gone wide. Yes. More teams guilty of costly misses, but it's very easy to talk from this angle in the sideline as the tension and atmosphere of a county final. Uh, one has to play in it to know what it's really about. Tim Carroll. 
Pocky out this time has a busy afternoon and goals. Drive it out. Good ball by then this time. Find to find John Brother. John Brother waiting for it coming down. Pretty up that hand and then trying to get up. And then in running to heavy attack. Pat McCarthy. McCarthy down to heavy attack there. This determination of this man. <laughs> Kicking it forward. And no no clears to the from Bradford with the belly brick and defence he did nothing there. And Anthony Tiffy pulling it. Paul Quaid pulling it. And also pulling it there. It's to the Kamikati. Has that pulley all over? Is there a free for belly brick? Yes, free for belly brick, says the referee. The initiative had to gain two points between the teams. Is there a goal coming up as the corner back, Andrew Green, preparing to take this play? Andrew bending, lifting, and then striking and sneaking good ball forward. Coming out for it there is Lee McCarthy. Will Lee McCarthy get it there? And then the corner forward get it. And there's a chance here for the corner forward. Declan Brown, Declan Brown there in the middle is Lee McCarthy pulling again. And then Pat McCarthy, Brown again. Declan Brown trying to get out. Pat McCarthy trying to get out. The tick of the action. McCarthy driving very near the end line. And then Quay across to the corner again. There's a chance of a great score for Belly Bricken. And going to heavy shackle there, Pat Kiley. And the wall is picked out after him. Drum Bradford after the stick of Seamus Merrigan. The Drum Bradford defence. I never saw them as tight as they are today. Playing very, very well. And Belly Bricken trying to get scores. Lee McCarthy, Belly Bricken with a large falling. Drum Bradford with a large falling. Lee McCarthy cutting this ball very, very well. Is there an opportunity for a score here? As try, as, will there be a goal coming up as the ball trying to be picked out? But Drum Bradford going for it there. And the centre, the, the danger man. And get here there is Paul Quaid. Beautiful stick for Paul Quaid. I said he'd county class. This is to be seen to be believed. Reminiscent of bringing Mackey and then carrying the ball and whipping it forward again. Half. Book down and then trying to find good pull across there again with the belly breaking defence he leaned nothing then the corner back Andrew Green Andrew Green gone through two men and then running to heavy challenge and being fouled Paul Christine Lassen the Andrew Green take it a high ball by Andrew not a very long ball dropping down the McCarthy has got for it Lehman Pat Pat bats it down Pat finds find Johnny Stack Stack not the game with the last one is and then going out to Pat McCarthy again McCarthy nuts from behind McCarthy tripped and McCarthy gets the free McCarthy a great hat to defender Show in, in showing the spirit of drum colour this young man who's a great future ahead of him Pat McCarthy playing doing Trojan work there in the half back line Another switch in the... Or is that a substitute coming on for Belly Brick? And yes, number 19, Neil Brown is coming on. Neil Brown replacing Damien Brown, who was injured in the first half. A Seamus Madigan. Seamus will drive to drive this one as far as he can. And Madigan driving right up the centre, trying to get his forwards in action. Party Stokes pulling it, getting for it in his... The, Dunne Kamikati, Dunne Kamikati making an angle for himself with the ball in the tightly marshalled. A great ball by Dunne Kaiser, a good ball, high dropping the edge of the square. The forwards in the small square, a free out for Belly Bricken. A very closely contested second half. Only one point scored by either team. Two substitutes introduced by Belly Bricken. Nicky Green and Neil Brown has the cornerback take it. The cornerback drive it out to Jerry O'Neill. Jerry O'Neill drop it down. Lee McCarthy and Pat McCarthy. McCarthy, the younger the McCarthy gets it. And then to Johnny Stack. Johnny Stack drive it forward again. Trying to find Paul Quaid. Quaid trying to get up. Peter uh, was fouled, but no, so the referee, the referee's near the action. And there, Belly Bricken coming more into the action there, Belly Bricken man. They're going to have a tackle there. Is that physically the game gone harder than the last few? Is there coming out of there is the Belly Bricken man and the Belly Bricken man in question is the number 16 that came in as a corner forward, Nicky Green. Then get here there is since the forward John Brother and John Brother is fouled and it's a free for from Bradford. Brother in defence, Brother in attack. The crowd not liking that decision. Has Pat McCarthy prepared to take it? Pat with the modern hairstyle, the blondy headed Pat. Drive it forward, drive it forward, playing the wings, trying to find his car in the forward, the man with the blue helmet, and the man with the blue helmet is the number 12, Liam Reedy, Liam Reedy battling for it there long so, and then the belly breaking defence, playing solidly as a unit, and driving it forward again, the ball dropping around there, and Damon ring the full forward, going up for it, and ring Batty down, cleverly Batty down to the corner forward, Declan Brown, Declan Brown gone, trying to find a substitute, Nicky Green, is there a goal on here, as it goes out to Green again, Green difficulty in being keyed up in the conditions, trying to find his corner forward, the corner forward, the corner forward, the question, is Peter O'Neill, Peter O'Neill, another score coming up for Andrew Ryan looking, lifting, striking, high and over the ball. Surely the man of the match for Bally Bricken, his fifth point of the game. That's time. Ten minutes left in the game. A solitary point between the teams. Will Andrew Ryan inspire Bally Bricken or will Drum Bradford come back?
in a scuttle. Drive out this one, high into the centre. Up there going for it, John Brewer will leave up the hand again. Up the hand goes, but the ball doesn't come down this time. But he's getting the ball the second time. A typical John Brewer solo. He's got about 20 yards of the new helmet. He runs into heavy chance, then waiting for it is Paul Quaid. Paul Quaid, nippy down, Betty down. And going for it then is the corner forward, the corner forward is Tomas Reedy. Tomas Reedy trying to get it, will he get the point? Good ball by Tomas Reedy, across Johnny Steck going for it, just got off the inline and wide. Players giving it everything. Nine minutes left in the game. One pint between them. I'm sure I wouldn't be correct if I said that no team deserved to lose this county final. Followers of Ali Bricken, followers of Drum Bradford, neutral followers and Gales and Limerick would love to witness a repeat of this game. So the standard is so high, the sporting aspect so great. And there's, as we say that, is there another drum colour substitute being introduced as the secretary of the drum colour team gives a little slip of paper to the referee. Is it another one, the Madigan brothers? Peter Madigan, Peter Madigan. But not a great puck out this time by the referee or by the goalkeeper, Peter Quaid, coming down, then have drum, will drum capitalise in the centre. As going for there is Marty Stokes, Marty Stokes going to heavy challenge, was he fouled? Yes, says the referee. And this could be the, the one that would inspire them. Peter Madigan there around the full forward position. Who's gone up? Is it Tomas Reedy? Most, the most important puck of his life for Paul Quaid. Will he respond? He responds in style of sort of all. <laughs> Drum Bradford had a great score for Drum Bradford. Is the error there by the goalkeeper? Pat Quaid capitalised on by the Drum Bradford players. Pat Quaid not making the same error this time. Drive it out and battling for it there is Jared Linehan going after stick of Jared Linehan going out over the sideline. Two points between them. Not a great lead on any occasion. As Belly Bicken, will they get the goal? Not a great ball then is going to Johnny Stack and Stack with the ball. Drive it forward again and Stack trying to set up an attack in motion. Peter Madigan going for it. Will Madigan get it? And the ball is coming down again. Madigan seen badly for it. This man was fired up before he went in in the thick of the action. And still he's with the ball. Drive it forward to Paul Quaid. Will Paul Quaid finish with a flourish? He's gone through his man. <coughs> was he fouled? No. Then he makes an English himself a low dangerous ball across. Battling for it there inside is Liam Reedy and the ball is coming out again and coming out into the center score on here. High and good and yes, over the goal. Oh, yes, gone over the inline and wide, appealing for the score there. <laughs> Pat Wade driving it out. Good ball by Pat Wade, dropping down to the centre. Up they go for it. The ball dropping great, hurling Pat McCarthy. Surely he'll be the only from Bradford this evening as the ball slipped away from this time. Put away and it goes to the number 12, number 12 in question, John Tran. Tran and James ball found them at the end of the match. Man the match. Andrew Ryan going through. Andrew Ryan still with the ball. Will he get a goal? Gone about 20 yards and low. Dangerous shot. And the ball is left taken down and it's split full. Here there is Pat McCarthy goes for it again. Surely that's a little after drum colour. Pat McCarthy trying to get it up. Pat McCarthy being tackled by Lee McCarthy. Pat McCarthy will be out towards Johnny Stack. And the ball coming to the, the number 12 and the number 12 in question is Liam Reedy. I thought he'd gone up. But Reedy doing all he can for Drum Bradford. Reedy with the ball and Reedy driving it forward again. <laughs> but in the centre forward, back Tomas Ryan. Tomas Ryan still with the ball. And Tomas Ryan goes through the ball. Surely a great man as well. Belly breaking with that finish with a goal. I will be whipped away from the Mr. Halfback. The halfback is Kevin Ryan, the captain of the team. Ryan shot his half back down. Then Andrew Ryan, the centre forward, going for it again. Or did he over carry the ball? Or was there a holly throne? There was a holly throne. It wasn't Andrew Ryan. Sorry, it was Neil Brown. Neil Brown with the ball. The hurley was thrown, the advantage to Bally Bricken, Andrew Ryan. Will he get his sixth point of the game? Will the game finish in a draw? Andrew bending, lifting, striking. He should point it. Will he point it? Good, and it's over the ball. Just the minimum score between them again. Seven points to six. Time ticky away and broke the excitement electric. A keenly contested county final. About six minutes left in the game.
It's hard to know where players are playing this time. They're playing all over the place. It's Dennis Cannell, the cool custodian, driving to the far off side of the field, trying to set up another attack in motion. Marty Stokes waiting for it. Will Marty Stokes get it? Marty Stokes pulling it. Marty Stokes then being driving forward again. That's trying to get it forward from Bradford. And that's in the back there. Pat Kiley pulling it, but the ball has gone out over the inline. Line ball for Ballybricken. Excitement at fever pitch as we enter the penultimate five minutes. Or will it be a lines on ball thrown in there and battling for it there? It's Dunnock and McCarthy, and the ball is being battled down again. And Drum, the belly brick and the back driving across and coming across. In. Is there a chance now for Drum Bradford to set an attack in motion? Yes, there's the number 12, and the number 12 is Liam Reedy. Liam Reedy forward again to Johnny Stack. Stack is cool as a custodian. High and good and over the ball. His first point was from a 65. His second point is he's getting the little bit of the bit early. Hope that he'll get a third point. There's a little nudging there in the corner of the square with Peter Madigan and the belly bricking corner back. There they know each other as in the full back Kevin McCarthy and Peter Madigan as Pat Quaid, the custodian. Two points between them, a perilous lead as Pat Quaid preparing to take this puck out. Belly Bricken give you everything they've got from Bradford likewise as excitement at fever pitch the third Belly Bricken substitute is coming on as Diamond Ring is being replaced and coming into the game is Mike Hickey Pat Wade driving it forward again Good battle for it there is Dunnock and McCarthy, Dunnock and McCarthy getting down to Paul Quaid, Paul Quaid, surely another point would be glorious, Quaid driving, great ball by Quaid, high ball, drop here around, going for his goalkeeper, just hold it there, good work by Pat Quaid, Wade, good clearance by Wade, drive it forward again, as getting there, beautiful work by Tom Brown, Brown catching it cleanly, and then Brown placing his ball with trying to get the man who came on as a substitute, Mike Hickey, Mike Hickey going for it, or is it number 19, Neil Brown, Neil Brown, shot his block down, off the stick of the corner, back Leo Collins and gone out for line ball for Drum Bradford. Or for Bally Bricken. The car, man who's got the corner back now in the half hours, Jory O'Neill. Surely this will be one of the last onslaughts for Bally Bricken. Jory O'Neill pulling a good ball by Jory across. Drum Bradford trying to get it out and get it out there. Is Pat Kiley, Pat Kiley into the centre. We're coming forward here again is Damien Brown. Damien Brown then and battling for a Drum Bradford defence trying to get out. Then Paul Quaid, Paul Quaid slipping the subs in the greasy substance and then coming in then is Tom Brown. Brown, belly brick and showing everything they've got the last few minutes there. The holding exceptionally high and get here there is Jory O'Neill. Jory O'Neill flick it forward. Drum Bradford defence can't heal anything. Will they survive the storm? The storm. Let's get here there is the man who came as a substitute. High up, good and over the bar. By Neil Brown. Brown high and Brown good and Brown over the bar. Just a pint between them again, time to keep it. Three minutes left in the game, not counting injury time. As Dennis Cannell preparing to take this puck out, the excitement at fever pitch. I've said it before, but was never the fever was never as great as the present. As trying to get it out at Drum Bradford and Drum Bradford pulling in it there and there. Pat Kylie the centre back, Kylie the centre back, but Belly Brick can seem to have the extra man the half back line and going out there to Dunnock and McCarthy. Dunnock and McCarthy well, well advised to carry the ball. This is kicking the ball and Dunnock and McCarthy forward again, trying to find Paul Quaid. Will Quaid crown it with a pint? Quaid clears his ball across, trying to find Peter Madigan, but just the little step or two too far. As a minute plus injury time left in the game. Will the game end in a wealth of excitement? Pat Way driving it forward. Belly Bricken wanting the equalising point. Drum wanting to stay in front as they are there since John Clayton Clayton driving forward. She shot that block down. Pat Kylie and Kylie the rock that beneath the Belly Bricken attack perished on. Driving it forward again. And Peter Madigan battling for it there with the full back Kevin McCarthy. And Madigan driving battle Paul Quay trying to hook him. And then try get in again. Is there a score on here now? The coach says that is a dangerous shot. High, it's over the ball. High and over the bar. Could that pint be crucial? The pint got by number 12, and the number 12 is Liam Reedy. <laughs> UCG student, University College Galway. Could that be the icing the cake for Drum Cullar? As the drive it forward again, Drum Bradford will surely be inspired by that score. As they're pulling it here, there, and everywhere. Belly Bacon trying to get forward again, and John Crahan trying to get up, trying to shake off the shackles of Pat Kiley. Kind of very strong player again. Got about 20 yards out in a snapshot, and going for there. The big John Brad Brad Brew the back in the centre of the defence. Brew the trying to get up. Brew the playing very well in defence, and attack is the game all over. Yes, the game is over. John Cregan, Ben Milan, not. 40 years wait since 63. Drum Bradford have won the county title.
Yes, 1932, they played Bohol Moore, representing Bally Bricken. Bohol Moore won on that occasion, and one of the Bohol Moore men of the Bally Bricken men said on that occasion, he said, wouldn't it be great if Drum Bradford and Bally Bricken in the county final, his wish was granted, but the victors today were Drum Bradford. As that day, Johnny Ryan scored seven goals, when Bally and Bohol Moore won 10-2 to 7-2. <laughs> It was a, a real struggle for the journal championship, journal championship between Bally Bricken and Drum Bradford. What a great match they gave us, and I'm sure everybody here brought great enjoyment out of the evening. Oh my candy. Bally Bricken are here for the third time in a, in a, in a, a small number of years. <coughs> you played a, ma a magnificent match, Bally Bricken, but it wasn't your day. Today belongs to Drum Bradford. <laughs> It, it gives me great privilege on a personal note as well, because I have very many ties with that part of the country, or that part of the county. And I would like to congratulate Brough on having to feed in such fine trim after a very bad week. <laughs> to Tom Burke and his officials, I would like to thank them for the way he officiated the match. And this in a card to reach, but while I'm going to go to the part of St. Lasho, and I'm sure that Drum Bradford will equip themselves well when they're going to the intermediate ranks. It's, it's 30 years since we went back your way. Enjoy it well tonight, and I'm sure you will. Agus Anish, Bawalam, on Cornsha, Avrona, Er Aidan Collins, Captain Alwa. Sorry, you all right? Right. Yeah, you want to take a photo? Well done. 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 Well and John Collins, they put in a lot of work all through the year and got a lot of abuse, but I think it paid off today. And to Bin Milan, you are not trainer. He put it in with us in the field just as hard as what we did. He kept us going, especially after the county league <coughs> defeat. He kept us up all the way through the year. And. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Sheehy for his help in all grades, including our own Jonah Holland team. Helped out every day. And of course, to all the players, especially the older members of the team, I want to And to the players, they helped us out all through the year, the start of the year, where we, where we badly wanted teams all through the year. And, and I want to congratulate Belly Bricken on a fine sporting game. They, they got beaten before, just like ourselves, but I know they can come back and do it next year. Three cheers for Belly Bricken. Thank <laughs> you. 
a high standard and somehow I felt that even though there were only a point in it at a time uh, that they would do it because the determination was there and a great standard given the, the time of the year but the field in fairness to it good and dry despite all the rain and a great stand a most enjoyable game and that sorry for belly a brick and tube but it's, uh, we have been on the losing side as well and we come from it the experience is good and is good of anything to get this far but for us it's our day today and we're delighted for drum broth for and as you as you say for the, the hats of many gales of the past were here today isn't it hats of many gales were here in spirit this is all the talk of the parishes would expect for the past couple of weeks and they were here in spirit and we're delighted for the whole the whole crowd the whole parish the whole community and that's it father you said if you extra prayers last night would that have made a difference well, I hope it made a difference. They weren't lost anyway. And I think we'll give the credit out to the lads themselves and show the Lord of the hand that you what the lads on talent and their guts and their structure. And well done. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's mother of the Wingman Captain, Kate and Collins, and also Leo Collins. You must be delighted. Yes, I am really delighted. I've been following them all the year, so I'm really delighted for, for Aiden and for Leo. For all the team, they really put in great work. They went over from training and everything. And I'm delighted in there, and I want to congratulate every one of them. Well, of course, during the game, the blood pressure was going high. I was really rolling. <laughs> well, I thought my heart would stop at the last few minutes of the game, but thanks to the God, they came out winners. Well, that seems to be very determined also. Oh, they were, I think, yes. Well, I, I think I had really faith in them this year that they were going to win. As I said, the Aiden was captain. The last time he was captain, he was in minors, but he, he won two cups as well, so I didn't start. So oh, that's an NFA legacy following Aiden. I think so. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and will there be big celebrations now tonight? Um, I say so. I say so. There'll be celebrations there for a few weeks. <laughs> and the last time they were on the county in 1963, you were very, very young at the time. Or were you around the time? Oh, God, I was around, all right. I was, but I don't remember it. I wasn't in these parts at all at the time. I'm from Ballingarry myself, so I wasn't around, so. And was there any stage during the game when you thought the game might end in a draw? Oh, yes. Yes, about uh, maybe seven minutes before it was over, I thought it was going to be a draw. So I was, my heart was stopping at that stage. And drum rats have started off very well. They did, they did. Well, they were ahead all the time. Sally Bricken didn't ever get ahead, so we were kind of pleased to death at least was, was one good thing. Because I think if, if they got ahead at all, I'd be afraid that, uh, that they might win after that. So all your prayers were answered? Oh, the worst indeed. I pray this next morning, so... We'll pray and thank you. Give me tomorrow, man. I will indeed. Okay, well done. Congratulations again. Thank you. Delighted, actually. Delighted. I think our last time, no, it was 1990. We were defeated by the Pierce, because I know. Um, this is a struggle today, actually. It's a very hard match. A uh, very physical match. Conditions, of course, weren't the best, really. Um, field conditions, even the next one, they have a condition. Field conditions are terrible. But, um... I think, um, especially towards the end there, um, there was a point to win it. And every time Bradley Beacon got a point, we, we, um, equal, we got a point on the far side as well. But, um, a very physical match, but, um, indeed, I think uh, we were the better side. Shafford to the ball, first to the ball, a little bit faster, I think, as well. Drum Ross will get off the great steps. They got off the great steps. Uh, they got a few points. Um, it's very, 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 they got, I think they were much, much sharper um, at the start of the beginning. But, um, Bradley Beacon, they came into there um, just before half time. I think the score at half-time was 5-3. Um, second half then, um, we, we got back into the game, I think, uh, with the score at 8-7, uh, I think. And um, I think Liam really got the, uh, got the, um, the final point and the uh, final score of 9 points and 7. And was that in stage with half the game, I didn't even draw? Well, towards the end, the last few minutes, the touch and go, really. Uh, both sides playing well. Um, we were a small bit sharper, I think, for the ball. But in the end, I think uh, I was confident of... Uh, of winning today. And John Brother got it off very well, stayed out for a while and finished very well. Finished very well, definitely. He came, he came on um, on the right on the right wing, right half forward. Um, I think Dean Carroll, the goalkeeper, did well. He stayed, in, stayed a lot in the last, stayed John the last in the last minute. He got vital ball and um, uh, he was uh, just, uh, just very important that he did get the ball because he's a good man, very good man to slip at the ball. So the first gone stated since 1963, there'll be great celebrations in Drum Brass tonight. Um, until the morning probably for, for, the, for most of the week, I hope anyway. So that would be left as a congratulations going everywhere. Everywhere, I'm sure. I'm sure. Everywhere. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, Tom Collar. You must be delighted. Thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I played in the last one ten years ago and we were beaten by points. So it's made up. I'm claiming credit as a part of it. Uh, so there was great enthusiasm and great... They were hoping to actually victory today. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. And then not alone the team that are there. There's a lot of lads going around the place. No, they feel they're part of it as well. Like they've been there and thereabouts for the last 10 or 12 years. Like. 
So it's this is out to the south, it's great for Dublin, great for Paris. And Toby's dead, must have a lot to do with it. Well, of course, we've been fed in it for the last six weeks and they're, they're doing well. There's a shine up from now this stage. And the game itself, what was the, what was the exciting point of the game? I suppose really they, they, they were under a lot of pressure there towards the end of it and uh, they, the back stayed very well and they got, got there and they got a couple of vital scores there towards the end of it when, when, things were, when the pressure was on. And Valley Britain seems to be depending on one man there since the forward man is his score. Yes, yes, they, they, were, they were getting the ball up to him and he was coming through but um, I think the back stayed very well. The, the old, there's a couple of old hands in there and no, they, they did well to get the out. And Paul Quayle finished with a flourish. Paul, yeah, he made his top off to the freeze early on, but now when he counted, when the pressure was on, he got him in. He put him there, like, you know? He yeah, got him in. Great celebration, he's done that last night. Oh, yes, yes. For a week, for a month, for a year. Yeah, yeah. well done again. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. So you're the main sponsor, you're the Yes, I was trying to be associated with the feet. Yes. Tell me that we'll go a long way. Well, no, hopefully, hopefully. We'll keep feeding them on it anyway. Right, thank you. Well done. Yes, thanks, Pat. Man, the Tacom, the county title, Paddy Sack is with us today, and Paddy, you must be delighted. I'm oh, delighted yes, for the parish in general, it's great for the course, it's great for the use of the parish. Do we account here? Yeah. And when John struck that 65 over the bar, you must be delighted. Well, it's, I thought, actually, we are critically good on, but he, he played reasonably well today, that's never as good as the last day, but a wee is a wee, that's a matter, I thought, anyway. No overall, especially the backs, the Harris and Harris and everything today. And Jesus, like, in the team played well. Oh, overall, they all played well, like, you know, we don't win the uh, account here with, with one or two men playing well. They are fair way to win a count, yeah. And the standard of holding was very high. Well, I thought it was one of the best children finals I've seen. Very good bit, like. And I'm delighted for like, Mike Barrett there and Mikey Connors and Jim Madigan. Mike Madigan, who is there, like he wants you. Peter and Dean Carroll, all those. The Holy Saint, yeah, he won't win a count, he's died for him. Most of the new colours. I thought didn't allow the team on duty today about the subs and everybody that contributed. We don't win a count without subs. And the top that came in there, more than credit part, and I don't worry about that anyway. So, Mike, by chance, you were there for us. Okay. Well, Mike, Paris, how much do you like? Oh, I'd like it, Phil. Um, after all the years, we thought we'd never do it. And uh, it was, uh, it was, we, we, we felt today, we, coming down here, we had to win it. There was no more about it, because after getting beat, we were beating four county finals, and we were beating three in a row. And, um, but, uh, uh, having said that now and everything, like, we had, uh, the, like, the family leader here, John Cragen, um, Jimmy Collins, um, all, the, all, the, all our mentors, like, you know, they, they kept it going. They, it's easy holding, like, you know, when we were full, when everything going right in the back, like. I remember last year, there, before the, 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 the day gym last year, they decided we were after getting bed, a bed bait in there before, and the, 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 there was four of John Collins, John Cragen, Tommy Reed, they, they decided they were going to put everything back into the game, like, you know, to try and do it. So we'd have, we'd have nothing at all here today, only for, only for like, the Tommy Reed, yeah. Um, John Collins and John Cragen. So they did everything. Kevin O'Donnell as well, like, you know, down to the rear, to the bait as well, like, you know. I understand the handling today, Mike. Hi. Uh, I really didn't take that much notice of the standards because I was so keyed up in this, uh, in the match itself. But um, I, I, I thought anyway that all for the Harris and Park for everything. Like there were times there when uh, their players had position and uh, they were all set for the long delivery. And also it came in as well they picked the ball away, like you know. And of course they were told that in training as well, like you know, because any fella that, that don't have the ball when the, when the opposition have the ball, all for the to Harris and close them down straight away. Uh, I felt like when the drum brass had improved through the year. Well. We did it first, but um, this, this is the crown of the hall, anyway, for the, for the last 20 years now, this is the, the best thing to hit the parish. And he guarantees his hurling in Drum Brawford for the next 20 years again. Uh, we'll celebrate tonight, Mike. Oh, please, God. But just, uh, um, uh, there's, there's a lot, there's two of us in Brawford now, like the Jimmy Ryan, they kept hurling going there for years, like, and um, John Jones, all the infillers uh, before us, they kept it going. With, with this man here again, Tommy Ray, keep into him, but he, uh, he kept it going there for years, like, you know, and uh, against all the odds. But uh, this is the crown in the hall at North. Okay. Yeah. Well done and congratulations again, Mike. Yes, we are thrilled. But after the long battle, it was the last after losing for them that we have come out and tapped in this one. And this is a great occasion for both parishes. Great for the unit and great for everybody involved. And the back tackle is so fabulous here. Yes, um, we were finding very hard to get scores and we know that they got a goal. Like it's, uh, to put a different complexion in the game. It's right, they raised their game another 50% in uh, we were all out late, not to let him get that goal, and eventually we proved that uh, we weren't going to let him in. And the first half was tight, but the second half was much tighter. Yes. Belly breaking in front, belly breaking back, they played so fabulous. Blocking, walking, they wouldn't give no forwards any room. But uh, the few scores we got just kept us all nose in front, and uh, we were delighted. So we'll be celebrating tonight. Yes, we will be celebrating tonight. After a long time, thanks very God. Okay, yeah. thank you, don't you? Well, it has, yeah. It took two years, I suppose, to succeed our goal, but when we, at the end of the day, we won it, and who cares after that? After the West Finals, you take one step at a time. Well, 
You have to let him to call before you can walk, and I think these lads let him to have way. We weren't there to see him in the semi-final by Essen, and uh, I think we let him, we let him to listen in that one. But he would not go out and take any team for granted, and we took no team for granted, whether we won it by 10 points or 20 points, but by two points like today, we stuck in deep and we kept holding to the end. You set you off very well today, Ben. We did, yeah. Well, I think actually that's been outside Mac for the last uh, four or five games. Uh, Maybe the 10 minutes before half time and after half time in each game we have kind of lulled a bit and let teams come back into it. We did that today, especially the first half, we let them come back at us. But after half time I think we, we dug deep and I think that they got only a couple of points in the second half and we put up them a few vital points at the end of the day and we have the county going home to drum bath after that. My first overall for the team effort with Sean Brother in the end epitomised the spirit of the team playing in the backs as well as the forwards. That's right, well, like you, John did the very same against Morneley and uh, when we wanted him uh, just yeah, 10 minutes into the second half against Mondelein, he cut three or four vital balls and we got in two points out of it and uh, the same again today, we brought John actually midfield there the last quarter now because we knew he'd, uh, he, he would galvanise the whole team together and fair play to him he did and uh, he cut a few vital balls and dropped them down the field and we got a few, uh, few vital points out of it. So I suppose you weren't as happy since the mighty days of Kaledi been? Well, that's past history now, of course, and that's enough I was delighted when we won the county ourselves in 1980. There's nothing better, I suppose, than playing and winning one yourself, but I tell you one thing, as I said, the lads just stay in Drum Bradford. It gives me a great pleasure to be involved with a bunch of players like we had playing today for Drum Bradford, and not alone the 15 players, but the 20 or 21 players we tagged out there today. Everyone put in their foot over the last uh, two years, I could say. Um, that friend had under Morris in the football. I think Morris uh, deserves an awful lot of credit really for the fitness side of it because uh, he really dogged him there when he came to the football training and I think he taught it in the day for the, for the hurlers as well and I, I'd like to compliment Morris on that as well. Now what's the future now in Drum Bradford? Will you, uh, what advice will you give to them? Well the advice is that they, they stick with it. Uh, you won't win nothing without uh, preparing above in your own field and if they, if they train and if they put in the, the effort like they put in the last two years I have no doubt they can get out of intermediate grade and the goal of any club is to play senior in the county and I have no doubt that Drum Bradford are as careful to play senior as the Patrick Wells and the Belly Browns and any other team. So congratulations again Ben, you must be the young crown king of Drum Bradford for tonight. Yeah. Well I, I don't know about that but at least I, I'm a proud man going home tonight to, to Bell Nishka you know, that uh, we have a, a Drum Bradford at least after the tough years won a, a county title and uh, it's well deserved and I, I think actually in fairness to the players they deserve it and that's who counts it in the day, the players themselves and they deserve it. I think they, they, they got out there on the field today what they deserve a county title. Well done, congratulations. Okay. See if I have the new got injured. That's right, I got an old tip in the tongue there. You know, it kind of threw me off there for a bit. I was going to get the doctor to have a look at it. And then he felt all right, so otherwise he told me they could play on, so I played on. You look visibly shaking after that knock. Well, the tone was a sore place, like to get a knock at any time, like, and to know it's there in the front of a remote as well, and to go on and affect you. And he sat it off very, very well. We did, and Bradley Brickens then got more determined and got tougher, and they got a couple of scores, got a bit more confident. But like at the same time, they could never get ahead of us and could never get the goal that they needed. And the second half must be really exciting. It was exciting, all right, to hear the crowd in the stand there roaring, especially when Stas came out of the bomb there at one stage, and then nearly took the roof off of the stand. Like, but he played very well when he came on. He did, he played well, all right, and you know, all the boys played well, and the points just sort of came as we needed them. Like. So history in the making, the Stack family today, your father brought a cup 30 years ago, and you're going home happy after the victory this evening. That's correct, yes. Okay, Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Initial reaction, lads, after winning a county final is a uh, relief, because uh, we've got a half-break disappointments all through the years, and this one was right down to the very wire, but the very end, but I think like the determination and half and spirit actually saw us over the line. On the day when we probably should have scored more, we played exceptionally well throughout the field without finishing left the stone, as it is for Belly Bricken. But I suppose having that it was a close, half contested game, there was nothing given soft, and you know, we're delighted to be victorious at the end of it anyway. And I suppose even though I drum back, we'd be happy in victory, holding with the overall winner. I think certainly, I think, you know, someone mentioned the buzz of the trophy level, I think this is the, the best episode I ever experienced in the journey holding match anyway, because in the minute the ball turning, there was a continuous shouting and roaring from the stand and encouragement from both sides, and I think, as you say, holding was the winner on the day. And the hard work paid rich dividends. I suppose if you want to achieve anything, like up to work hard, but you know, and we set out there a couple of years ago under the guidance of Bill Milan, who's been marvellous, helped us to try and win a county. We had enough from last down through the years, and you know, it's only the teams that win us, what I remember, but like, everyone tries their best on the day, but we really felt this year, like, you know, that we, we were going to go all the way, and, we pulled it off and then they finished. So 1993 was a long, happy year? It was a great year, you know, we were saying they're all along with a great year, but I said to the lads recently, I said, look lads, a great year is a year to win a county, you know, and uh, our message got home, I suppose, that's that they, they all wanted to win it, like, you know, but still, I suppose, 
under there they were well geared up and physically and mentally prepared to win it and as I say that preparation saw over the line again. 63 January, so Timothy will be in very young, 30 years ago. It's only two years away, thanks for the guys. Okay, congratulations, well done again. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Yeah. Well, Tommy Reedy, we were waiting patiently and you did a great day's work. Well, I didn't know whether you did a great day's work or not, but I think the boys in the field did the work for us and they tried as hard as possible, the tough, hard battle, going with soft, the boys are light, they took them on and I thought in style, but the speed and that they are in the middle of the field and all in terms of the all the scores didn't come, they did, definitely did try. And Just four points from each team in the second half, low scoring. Very low scoring, but uh, close knocking by the backs, especially our own backs. We were probably in a small bit of trouble at the times on the backs, but they had us and fought for every ball they came and tore out, but they didn't clear it. How are your thoughts at half time, both again? Well, we, I felt at half time that the score, we, we should have probably been up a few more points. A la belly breaking it also had missed a lot of chances to retire from outfield, which. Uh, the three, uh, two points, I think it was a half time, is it? It was in it, and uh, it didn't look much. But uh, we have after playing with a slight breeze, and that was at half time, been told them a few things. They tore out and determination they carried it there. Neutral said that Drum Bradford had many scores, but Brickham would have been one man mainly the centre forward to transfer to midfield for their scores. Yes, that's possibly right. We, uh, we All our forwards can score on a day, and they play the ball to one another, and things worked out. and. We got the vital scores that carried the efforts. So we'll be celebrating with Cork and tonight. Well, I'm dead, sir. I'm kind of on that side of the field uh, and when you come down to the drinking side, but I'll have a cup of tea for some of my wife. Okay, congratulations. Well done again. Thanks. Selection, and you're delighted, and I am delighted. I suppose like every mother seen their sons playing in the county final. And I congratulate them. They did very well on the day. It's a long time coming, 30 years. <laughs> and they played very well. They did, yeah. They were up against it, definitely. Bally Ricky were good and strong, and at the end of the day, it's the scores are on the board and that's what counts. Oh, you must have played very hard this morning. We are drinking tea all morning. <laughs> <laughs> and they're starving the hunger now and they like to make me for the dinner up for them. <laughs> oh, you think you should get the dinner now tonight? I think so. <laughs> they're worth it. Okay, congratulations. Okay, thank you very much. And now the game is over. You're delighted? Okay, I'm delighted. I'm delighted for the boys in a... because I've experienced four county final defeats myself. I've played with the boys down through the years like and today was sweet. Seamus and Milo played very well. Seamus and Milo in peace as well, like, and I'm delighted for them, like, you know. They kind of pinched me myself, I should have been there, but look, next year I'll be back with them. When Peter came in, he did the determination come oh, in. Oh, yeah, he had determination, like, you know, because uh, his season season had compared, like, you know, and he can give and take, like, you know. I was delighted for him. So we'll be celebrating tonight? Oh, I will be celebrating, that's for sure. And now we're back to the prophetic words of our first interview. You said before the game you'll be delighted if they won. Are you thrilled now? I'm delighted. I'm delighted for the boys to the great victory, really, to the hard game. They played well. They have their county cup now, so... So I suppose with the excitement, you could only see patches of the game. No patches, I didn't see the game at all. I'm delighted we have a tape of it in it, because I didn't see half the game. But thanks for the God, we'll be able to sit down and watch it now in comfort. So you'll be celebrating for a week? Oh, indeed, maybe for a month. <laughs> so to be white lemonade and red lemonade? I don't know, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> OK, congratulations. Well done. Thanks very much, lads. The third generation, the second generation, now we're talking to the young generation. Sean, you must be delighted. Sean Medigan. Yeah. And was any stage you thought that Trump brought for my toes? Mm, no. So, what was the turn? Who played best, do you think, for Dunbar? If you were to single out three players, apart from your relations? Mikey Connors, John Stack, and Dean Carroll. Paul Quaid. And Dean Carroll played very well in goals. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. And you'll be happy enjoying the day off, celebrating Dunbar's victory. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well done. Congratulations again.
I just want to pull to the white and then the Thank <laughs> you. 
people of them call her Bradford for their support down over the years. Yeah. Yeah. Not alone on the field, <laughs> but also only for the collections and draws we have and your development support, we would not be able to survive. So, on behalf of all the players in the club, thank you ever so much. <laughs> And you know, we're having a draw on the 19th of December. You want to look at this? Go ahead, come properly. It's been a major factor in we're winning this cup today. Let alone this year. We've gone back over the last 10, 15, 20 years. And the players and our chefs appreciate very much for what he's done for us. And that man in question is the one and only Dr. Sheehy. <laughs> and a bit. 
<laughs> but it couldn't have been done without a tremendous commitment, hard work by all the players of all ages and of all ages. It couldn't have been done without the people of both parishes, both supporters, both ladies, and above all, financially. They deserve it. And we won't hold it against him because he's from Canada. Oh. <laughs> I suppose that's where we spent the last two years, George. Oh. It's always nice to win. Yes. I suppose it, down the years, you had your failures. At the end of the day, the club was strong. <laughs> At the end of the day, this will come home. <laughs> no, no one man will win this. It took 15 today, and it took two subs. Yes. Down the year, and last year again, it took 21, 22 players. 21, 22 players, it was a privilege to me to come here to the field in drum colour to train. <laughs> It was a privilege to come here at training and they're here before her. Well, with the, with the exceptions. <laughs> when we used to have to call John Brewer for the get up for the matches. <laughs> but I tell her what the commitment was like. <laughs> Fellas, care from Tralee, care from Limerick, care from Cork to win this county title. <laughs> At the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is what the players put in that got out of it, and they got a county title out of it. And I've always said to them over the last two years, you put in the effort, you'll get the success. And it'll be the very same in the meeting hall in 1994. If they put in the effort, yep. they said, that right camp will stand up for the best. <laughs> Finally, on behalf of the players, on behalf of the players, every one of them, I would like to thank the support we've got with the last two years. Without your support, we'd be nothing. And fair play to you, but there's a man, woman and child today and broke to see a county title coming back. The man who was stuck in so thick and thin with myself, John Cregan. I find a half job, lads. It was worth every every year, lads. We lost it several times. We won it tonight. It was a great night for the parish, and I'm delighted to be to be part of it. We can't forget the Bradford side of the parish, and I think Amanda has done so much down over the years for Bradford G and now for Drum Bradford. Tommy Reid. Yeah. I'd like to remember a man that I had here in 59 and in 63 up at the stage here in some colour too, and I went to county. That was only Connell of Springfield. He always gave a bit of a rhyme. And I'd like to say is that all knock someone as green clad hills was loudly heard his cheer. Come on here boys from Bally Bricken for the end is drawing near. But all their efforts proved in vain. That day they met defeat. They did our best but were not fit from colour brought <laughs> Oh, 
Thomas plays too. Under 14, fuck Paris. Under the next five. Under 16, fuck Paris. The minor holding and footballers were so lucky not to win a count here. The under 21 footballers won the West. The junior footballers won the West title. And what about our ladies? Yes! 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 The thing of two last Sunday lads is that first year in the, the ladies football and then won the county junior football championship. So, let's, there's a few of the, the old stairs around here tonight, and fair play to them, they followed us down through the years, and they are the likes of their captain. With great support, like John Mike. And another lad that's here tonight as well, lads, that was with us in 81. It was Tim Burke. Well, Tim! Yeah. Who's not living in Drum at the moment, but living in Charleville, he's dead gone. Yeah. Right, yeah. Tim. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's go.